So, this short video will go and look at the two main methods that we can go and produce ethanol industrially. Best way to use this video is follow the link below, download the question, watch the video, pausing it at key points and noting down keywords, etc. Have a go at filling out some of the shorter answers. Then finally, have a go at the longer answers on the sheet, just to help solidify what you know about the two processes. So, the first process is looking at industrial fermentation. So, we start off by adding in water, yeast, and something that we're going to go and ferment. So it could be corn, it, it could be almost anything. That's ground up and mushes it all together. It then flows down and large pieces of solid material are removed, as this could go and clog up the equipment further down the line. That is then fed into a fermenter, where the yeast will ferment the glucose in whatever's been ground up into ethanol. That ethanol, well, well, what comes out of the fermenter, will then be a mixture of yeast, ethanol and water. So we can go and separate the ethanol out by distillation because ethanol will have a much lower boiling point than water. So this forms ethanol vapour, which can be then fed into a condenser, which will condense that ethanol back down into a liquid form of ethanol. The second, second industrial way of going and producing ethanol is by the hydration of ethene. So, if you remember, ethene is made by cracking long chain hydrocarbons. So, we start off by going and forming steam in a boiler. We then go and feed that through into a reactor along with ethene. The ethene and the water vapour react together, forming very, very pure ethanol. This ethanol can then be condensed and can then be sold. So, anything that you're unsure about, go back, watch again. If you haven't already, go and download the question and have a go at it. 